What if you catch a cold or flu and no drug is able to cure it? No antibiotic or antifungal seems to be working? That sounds quite scary, does it not? We hope not, but it can very well happen to you. Some bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. They become superbugs. And once they enter your body, they cannot be killed by any medicine. And for the first time, two such superbugs have been detected in Los Angeles County wastewater. They can spread at an alarming rate. Antibiotic resistance easily goes undetected. Will this cause a silent pandemic? The superbugs were found in water samples from two water treatment facilities, the Joint Water Pollution Control Plant and Hyperion Water Reclamation Plant, the same plant that came under heavy criticism in July 2021. This was when it released millions of gallons of untreated sewage into the Santa Monica Bay. There were equipment failures, unheeded alarms, insufficient staffing. You see, Hyperion, Hyperion has a history, has history attached to it. In fact, both Hyperion and Joint Water Pollution Control are LA County's largest treatment plants. They serve around 7.5 million people. And all of these people were at risk. 7.5 million people. They could have been exposed to these superbugs. These bacteria are notorious to say the least. Even the last resort antibiotics fail to kill them. They sicken those who have weak immune systems. And you know what the scariest part is? Antibiotic resistance is controlled by specific genes. And these genes are present in bacterial DNA called plasmid. And if you know how bacteria multiply, you would know how easily plasmid is shed among different bacteria. Just to put it simply, antibiotic resistance spreads very easily. Any bacteria can become resistant to antimicrobials. For now, two new superbugs have been found. But in reality, these germs are more widespread than we can imagine. And their presence in LA wastewater just proves my point. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, over 2.8 million such infections take place every year in the US. Antimicrobial resistance in fact kills 35,000 Americans annually. In the year 2019, it killed nearly 5 million people worldwide. Can you imagine that? This was more than the deaths due to HIV or malaria. But everyone, somehow, seems to be sleeping on this fact. In fact, self-medication has become increasingly common. People abuse over-the-counter drugs. Antibiotics have become the go-to medicines for the slightest of cold and fever. In fact, India tops the list of antibiotic consumption. Very often, physicians prescribe antibiotics when they are not even required. Pharmacy staff are not fully qualified to sell these medicines. They sell them without prescriptions. And the COVID-19 pandemic has only made matters worse. It has accelerated antibiotic resistance cases, infections due to resistant E. coli salmonella, also gonorrhea, increased by at least 15% in 2022 as compared to the rates in 2017. And why did that happen? Because people consumed more antibiotics than ever. There was overprescription of the drugs. It was bound to create ripple effects. But to this extent, it's quite scary. For some of us, bacterial resistance could mean more visits to the doctor, prolonged illnesses, possibly even more toxic drugs. But for others, it could mean death. The number of bacteria resistant to antibiotics has increased tenfold 
These superbugs are evading not only broad spectrum antibiotics, but also the last line of defense. Colistin doesn't work on them. Carpabenems don't work on them. If someone is infected, we have very little at our disposal to treat them. Do you know what this means? We could usher in an age when common infections and minor injuries can once again kill. People dying due to tetanus or strep throat could once again be a possibility. We could get to the point where we cannot fight infections with antibiotics. It would be a post-antibiotic world. I don't mean to scare you, but it is what it is. This is what's happening. More microbes are developing resistance against our medicines. Antibiotics kill all bacteria except those resistant to drugs. Superbugs survive and they are excreted in wastewater. They spread further, causing more infections and deaths. So how exactly will the cycle end and when, how soon? Will antibiotic resistance continue to increase? Will it cause a silent pandemic? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.